paralyzing yeah. needles. Yeah. And look where this man is today. Rank very, very high at the top three pretty much every single season in SoCal. And he is ready to play against K9 here in winter semis. Get hype. Let's go. So it's not going to be Sheik Dittos after all. K9 opting to use his... Uh... Yeah, K9 almost always goes for the Dittos yeah. matchup. Yeah, I think he, I think eventually after playing the uh, Ditto so many times, he got tired of it himself. And he's pretty confident in his Diddy Kong. He uses it pretty often in, uh, yeah. in tournament. So. But th these two characters arguably have the two best neutral games in, in, in the entire cast. It, it's hard to say who has the better one. Diddy's Banana is like one of the best projectiles because of how versatile it is. It, it goes in the kill confirms, it controls stage. You can use it to edge guard. So, this is definitely a very even matchup. Yeah. But right now, Void is just playing very, very well and very consistent. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Oh, okay. Wow. Only 42% on Void. Stock already gone. He killed with an up air off the side of the stage. Yeah. That was cool. That was just, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Usually it's like Void air, but Void's like, no, 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 what are you talking about? And he's keeping up with the momentum. One hit away from completely lapping him. Maybe one or two. Yeah, Void is playing so well. But this, okay, yeah, oh, that's, it. that's it. Two stock at only 62%. But that doesn't even matter. Because this is what happens with Kena. Powers you up. hit him, and every time you hit him, he powers up. He powers up. He's a, he's a Tarmander in SoCal, man. Literally. If you've seen the Indigo League Pokemon anime, literally, Tar Tarmander's getting beat up by that by that Mankey. You know, he's yeah. like, whatever, I, I'll take this. I'll he, take these hits. He's a little, he's a, he's a real life Super Saiyan, man. He is. And when that, when his tail starts to glow brighter, when K9's little Charmander tail starts to grow brighter and brighter, he goes in rage mode and he starts thrashing that man. Actually, thrash is, is making his move, but he goes ham. Yeah, if anything, it's more like he's a Charizard and he mega evolves. You know, he, he yeah, he mega evolves with rage, man. This is it's gonna happen. So, game one doesn't necessarily mean that K 9s losing. Let's see what happens in game two, same stage. Back yeah. to Sheikville. Let's see what happens. You know, K nine on top of being a adaptive player, he's. Also a very emotional player, so if he gets two stocked, he's almost for certain gonna play much better the next game. Yeah, like the the harder he loses, the better he plays yeah. the next game. And as you can see, he's he's ex exercising extreme patience now, just standing there at times. Yeah, and already he's playing so much better. He's now doubled void in percent, and as a Diddy Kong, he's close to percent so that he can get either a a stream that will kill. Or a guaranteed kill confirm with up smash. Because down tilt F smash near the ledge isn't true combo, but it can kill. I love this from K9 right now. He was very different from the last game where he was more aggressive and he ends up being punished severely for it. Now he's just walking around the stage. Yeah, one more down tilt is actually gonna be the Oh wow. You rarely see 80% kills. That aren't Gimps and Sheep. Yeah. That was a beautiful confirm by Void. Playing so consistent, even though he's losing, it doesn't matter. He's like, yo, you might be winning the percents, but I'm gonna be uh, winning this game. F wow, okay. Void had the read, a little bit mistimed on that F tilt. Oh, okay. Well, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you just poorly DI an up tilt and die at 140. I think up tilt is, uh, is it, it is a kill move. It would have killed at oh, 140, yeah. uh, just regardless of the DI. Well, I think if you DI, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> up tilt is definitely a strong kill move, especially at like those higher, higher percents, 150, 160. Sheik is pretty light. Fifth lightest? Sixth lightest? I don't remember. Fourth lightest? Whatever it is. He's very light. Especially with the nerf. Oh, uh, all right. Rolls back into Ooh! Whoa! Oh what? no, but no. he's not gonna kill him, and he gets actually hit by Void's recovery. He's still living. Still making it back. Yeah. What an exchange of events here on the on the side of the stage. Yeah. Too much for my heart to handle. This is still scary for Void. Canine with rage. A few more for Sins. And down tilt will confirm into up smash. 
That's something that's so scary about Diddy is his really strong neutral and his amazing kill confirms, especially with Rage. Nope, with that back air. No, not, not gonna be Edgeguard it. situation though. Yep, oh, that's free. that's it. Yeah. That's that's the unfortunate thing about this matchup is if if anything puts something into either character's favor, like off stage, it's Sheik favor. Yeah, Sheik definitely uh, destroys Diddy Kong off stage. One she needle, one neutral air, needle, a bouncy fish. A bouncy fish. She can intercept uh, that that upbeat recovery of Diddy Kong with anything that she has. Yeah, we saw Void versus. Is it MVD? It was Void for somebody. At like 20%, just jumped off stage, one needle, and then he jumped up again, threw another needle, and that was it. So, very, very, very bad off stage. Either way, Void doing Void things. There's a sweet 50%. Void. Yeah, he's just not stopping. Yeah, Void looking like he wants to win K-Tar Saga. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. I think he might have forgot that it's it's not now, it's tomorrow. <laughs> Doesn't but. matter, man. When you're at any of these SoCal tournaments, no. you better be playing like it's a national because it pretty much is. Wow. All right. K-9 starting to find his... Way back into the match. Racked up a little bit of percent on the Void. But Void once again with his amazing pressure against his Diddy Kong. Ooh. Okay, K9. Okay, 9. Yep. Yeah. Gets punished for side being over uh, to the platform, even though K9 knew he had that cancel. Didn't have enough time. Sheik being so fast. Wow. All right. I guess Boyd just didn't want to didn't want to like deal with the two frame, so he just recovered high. Oh wow, that was actually uh, that was really scary for K9. Could have ended his life. He could have. Yeah. Smash that. But now K9 is doing a good job of not really getting hit this stock. And if he can close out this stock right now, it's a very, very even game. But he does not want Void to do Void things. That's going to close out the first stock. Wow. Okay, K9 is doing a much better job right now with this with the air dodge and the needles. Not letting Void get those gimps anymore. Yeah, he's uh, really turning this around quite a bit. Yeah, and he's he's searching for that dare spike. He wants that so bad. He's he's attempted it a number of times. Besides that one time that it landed, Sheik had too low of a percent for even uh, to even kill her. He's gonna make her back to the stage with her double okay. jump up B. Wow. Unfortunately, Sheik was at two low percents. K9 tried to dash forward. Oh, beautiful! No! Oh, no! Man. You hate to see that every single time. That was such a beautiful way to get around the bouncy fish. It, it, I mean, Man. if you saw it, like, he, he was charging his up B, and he sees the uh, bouncy fish coming at him, and he swivels, swivels just ever so slightly up and over. To the ledge, and, and I think because he swiveled up and over, it was he ended the angle up of the barrel. Yeah, ended up hitting the side of the stage and not snapping.